powering system. Greetings, the internet. This is AJ, and welcome back to making your first game in Construct 3. This is the second video, so if you haven't watched the previous videos, you should go back and watch them, and you'll see we're here. Uh, and where we are here is if you press the play button, our character moves around, and we're gonna press space. If we hold down space, he shoots little oranges. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do actually is go down to our directions, and I actually played Binding of Isaac again in uh, the first time in a while, and I realized that you can actually go uh, diagonal angles. So all we have to do is just go to our behavior, go to directions, and set it to eight directions. And that's all we're gonna do for there. And then we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna turn off default controls. Uh, there's a little tick box right here in the behaviors tab. We're gonna turn that off because we want our uh, character to be moving with WASD, not the arrow keys. Cool, so uh, the way to do that is let's go to our event sheet. And uh, it's pretty good habit to be using groups. Uh, groups kind of uh, allow you to split up your code into small chunks so you can tell exactly what you are editing. So let's add a group. And we're going to call this um, player movement. I always do that. All right, player movement. So we want to add an event in our player movement tab. And uh, in order to change our directions, because now if we press play, as you'll see, our character doesn't move around anymore. So let's add an event to player movement. And we're going to go to keyboard. And we're going to go to is key, key is down. Uh, key code is down is different. Key code uh, is the actual code for the key that you're pressing. Um, don't worry about that, just keep on keyboard, key is down. And then we're going to click to choose and press W, press OK, press done. And all we want to do here, so we could uh, uh, move our character with a vector, which is a little bit more advanced of a thing, but you can actually do it a much simpler way if you click on Ryan and here at the top eight direction. We're going to go to simulate control. And if we click up, because W is up, press done, it'll simulate eight direction pressing up. Uh, so now if we press W, he goes up, which is pretty cool. So all we have to do is do this a couple more times. And let's change this to S and pressing down. And then change this one to A. And that's to the left, which is not the right. And then uh, D which is actually to the right. There we go, now if we press play, you'll see our character moves around uh, and according to the keys that we press, and it's WASD instead of our arrow keys, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's kind of all we need for player movement right now. And now we're gonna add a new group and we're gonna call this shooting. And in this one, we're gonna drag our keyboard into it. Now, uh, if you just grab the keyboard, it's gonna try to drag the, the uh, action or the event uh, out of this. But we don't want to do that. We want to grab it by this little tab right here on the side, and that allows us to move it around, and then we can put it as a sub-event of our shooting uh, group here. So we're going to do something interesting here. I believe this is the way they do it in Binding of Isaac. I'm not 100% sure, um, but uh, I believe it works, and I, I like the idea. So let's just get going on this. So the first thing we want to do is actually uh, make a new event and we're gonna to go to keyboard on key is down and just put the up arrow for right now. And what we wanna do is cut out the spaces down, not the whole thing, but just the spaces down event. Take that away, grab the keyboard, or sorry, grab the system event by its little tab right here, and we wanna put it underneath the keyboard up is down. Now it, it kind of is a little fussy, but if you put it right, if you put your mouse right here, it will allow you to put it right underneath, so that's cool. So let's copy this and paste it four times, and we wanna do all the arrow keys. So right arrow, and then down arrow, and then left arrow, oops, left arrow, cool, done. And what we want to do is we're going to right click on this, and we want to make it an or block. And what an or block is, is just what it sounds like. It's if any of, any of these events is down. So if up is down, or right, or down, or left. So we want every three seconds for Ryan to spawn an orange as long as a keyboard event is down. So if you press play, um, it's going to kind of be exactly what you expect. But now uh, the oranges spawn at a consistent rate as long as you have a shooting button down. So uh, in order to set the uh, angle of motion, we want to 
add an instance variable for our character that is the the angle. Now what an instance variable is is just a number, uh, something that you can change in the game that affects gameplay and you want it to be associated either with the entire project or just an object itself. Um, so in our case if we add an instance variable, let's do it, we want to make it um, shoot dir which is direction. You can call it whatever you want as long as you know what it's referring to. We want to leave this type to a number. We'll get to boolean and string on another video I assume. Initial value is zero is good, and you can add a description if you want the direction of the bullet of the orange. Cool. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to make sure we're still in our our shooting event, sorry, shooting group, and we're going to add an event. We're going to go to keyboard, on key pressed, key up and we're going to change the angle of motion. So we want to go to our uh, Ryan, and then we want to go down to, where is it, here it is, under, no, sorry, under instance variables, we want to set our value. So this is, we're setting the value of our variable. So the shoot direction starts off as zero. When we press the up button, we want it to be at 270, which is up in construct. So in construct, uh, here, let me just, let's set the value real quick. Shoot direction, up is going to be 270. So let's write that in. So if you look on our main page, um, in construct, zero degrees is to the right, and it goes clockwise, so it's zero, and then 90, 180, and then 270, uh, just around the character. So just keep that in mind. So right, so the up arrow is 270, so we're going to set the shoot direction to 270, and then we're going to copy and paste this separately. Don't put all the keyboards in the same event. Um, I don't think, actually, I guess you can't, so that's good. Um, we want to keep them all separate, and we're going to go to right arrow press, and remember right is zero, and then we're going to go to down arrow pressed, and that is 90, and then ooh, finally left arrow pressed, and we're going to make this 180. So what's happening here is that every time, or as long as the keyboard button is down, it's going to spawn the orange. But if we change, uh, if we press on another key, it's going to change the direction. And we want the direction to not be continually changing. We want it to uh, only change when we want it to change. Uh, so that's why it's not if keyboard is down, because if it was down, it would be constantly rechecking and setting the direction to different numbers the whole time. Uh, so I hope that made some sense. Um, play around with it. Try it with key is down, and you'll see it's going to going to do some kind of weird stuff like spawning the oranges, um, shooting in different directions over and over again, among other problems. Um, so there's one last thing to do because even if we do that, our character is still only shooting to the right. Um, so what we want to do is actually uh, go to add action here. Or sorry, um, yeah, so we want to add an action here. We're going to go to orange and we're going to go down to bullet and we want to set angle of motion and we're going to reference our Ryan. Now this is, sorry, this is getting a little bit more advanced than I wanted it to at first, but this is the best way to do this. So we want to reference the variable of Ryan. And those are big words, um, but basically we're just going to say, okay, what the angle we want, we want this shoot direction that we're setting right here for Ryan. So in order to access that variable, we can just type in Ryan. And you'll see he comes up right there at the bottom. We click on him. And in order to find his variable, you're just going to press dot. And that's going to come up with a bunch of uh, different things that you can reference, which uh, we'll get to at some point. But they're, they're kind of uh, self-evident, I guess. Height, obviously, is his height and other things. If you go down to this green little arrow right here and shoot direction, now you can type in shoot direction and it'll come up. Um, that's the variable we want. So in, uh, in any kind of thing in Construct, I mean, like you can do an orange, you can press dot and you can access all its variables so it has an angle as well. But we don't want that. We want to make sure that it's just our Ryan shoot direction. And we're going to put this, uh, make sure you don't have this above your orange. You'll see that if we do that, it's going to start changing the directions of our oranges as they fly. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that it spawns the orange first and then it sets the angle so it knows to refer to that particular orange that it's spawning. So now, as you can see, depending on the arrow that you're pressing, he's continually shooting oranges. 
So sorry, that was a little bit more advanced than I wanted to get you guys in at first, but I hope uh, it was helpful, because, uh, especially because this is the kind of stuff that you're going to be doing when you do more advanced uh, type projects. Um, so got a little taste of that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.